We are pleased to know that Secretary Grumbles is concerned about families struggling to pay their utility bills. However, leaving Reggie is not the answer. That would not benefit these families, but strengthening Reggie would. It is true that African Americans, Latinos, and other people of color in Maryland and nationwide pay a higher portion of their income towards utility bills. That is only part of the story, though. The fossil fuel industry has historically chosen low-income communities for their dirtiest projects. As a result, these communities for their sorry, as a result, these communities have higher rates of asthma, cancer, and other illnesses due to overpollution and underinvestment in their communities. They're also the most vulnerable to extreme weather due to climate change. The housing stock and infrastructure in disadvantaged communities tends to lack some of the protections that help our communities, but be more prepared for extreme weather. Hurricanes Katrina and Sandy were devastating examples of this problem. People of color and low income communities have been paying more than their fair share of the health, economic, and environmental costs of power plant pollution for generations. I am here to urge Governor Hogan and the Maryland Department of Environment to support a stronger 5% annual reduction in carbon emissions from power plants from 2020 to 2030. Additionally, we want to encourage you to create a plan to guarantee net positive economic and environmental benefits for underserved communities. It is time to make polluters pay the full social cost of carbon pollution and to target Reggie Reg investment towards rebuilding the health, wealth, and environment of low-income communities at the front lines of the climate crisis. What we've learned is that when states prioritize communities that are most impacted by climate change and pollution, they see improvements in the economy, environment, and in equity. In 2012, Green for All's director, Van Trong, helped lead a California coalition that passed a cap and invest law, SB 535. The law requires that 25% of the funds for cap and trade benefit disadvantaged communities that haven't been included in the conversation, and in doing so has strengthened economic collaboration and growth for all. In Maryland, Reggie is already providing, providing positive benefits for many low-income communities <coughs> and communities of color. And with stronger pollution limits, and a guarantee of net positive economic and environmental benefits for underserved communities, Reggie can grow equity <coughs> and opportunity for all. Thank you. Thank you.